In today's lesson, we will learn how to translate word problems into algebraic expressions. Word problems are mathematical or application-based problems that require an algebraic solution. Word problems are expressed in words and must be translated into an equivalent algebraic representation, also known as algebraic form, before they can be solved. Once in algebraic form, we can apply our knowledge of linear equations to solve the problem. This sentence is an example of a word problem. What number when decreased by 7 equals 13? We can find the number by translating the sentence into an equation. Pay attention to the words used when reading the sentence. For instance, in the given sentence, the phrase, what number, tells us that we are looking for a certain number. Therefore, we let x equal the number. We can use any variable to represent the unknown number. Next, we have the phrase decreased by 7. This is the same as minus 7. Finally, the last part of the sentence is equals 13. It can be expressed by using the equal symbol and the number 13. So, our equation is x minus 7 equals 13. We can solve the equation by using what we learned when solving linear equations. Now that we have our equation, we can solve it by adding 7 to both sides and combining the like terms to get x equals 20. To check if our answer is correct, substitute 20 for x and solve the equation. The tables provided show common word phrases translated into mathematical phrases. We can choose a variety of letters to represent the unknown. The word is, or some form of the verb to be, is often used to indicate equality. Here we will practice translating a word sentence into an equation. Our first example is, what number increased by 3 is 7? Observe that we are looking for an unknown number that when we add 3, because increased by 3 means plus 3, it will equal 7. Therefore, we write it as x plus 3 equals 7. Our next example is the sum of what number and twice that number equals 12. So we know by the sentence that we are going to add an unknown number with the same unknown number multiplied by 2 to get 12. Twice a number can be expressed as 2n. Therefore, we write it as n plus 2n equals 12. Write an equation to illustrate 2 less than 3 times what number is 16. Let x be the unknown for this example. The phrase 2 less indicated that we will subtract 2. The phrase 3 times what number can be represented as 3x. Therefore, we can write 3x minus 2 equals 16. Consider the second example. One half of what number and 3 more is 9? We know that and 3 more means plus 3, so we know we are adding 3 to one half of an unknown number. One half of an unknown number can be represented as x divided by 2. Therefore, we can write x divided by 2 plus 3 equals 9. We can also write an equation to represent a word problem. In this example, a rectangular swimming pool is 8 feet longer than twice the width, w. If the perimeter of the pool is 160 feet, write an equation to find its dimensions. We know that w will represent the width in this equation. When we read the sentence, we know that the length is twice the width plus 8. We also know that when dealing with perimeters, the normal equation is twice the width plus twice the length. Therefore, we can write our equation as 2w plus 2 times 2w plus 8 equals 160. Here we replaced l with 2w plus 8 to find our equation.
When solving word problems and translating word phrases to mathematical phrases, here are some things to remember. Read the problem carefully. Reread the problem carefully. If possible, draw a picture. Translate the English phrases into mathematical phrases and choose a variable for the unknown. Write the equation using all the information. Solve the equation and check the solution to determine whether it satisfies the original problem. Let's solve a word problem step by step. We will be solving for the unknown values. The problem reads, the sum of two consecutive integers is 79. Find the value of the smaller integer. We can represent two consecutive numbers being added together as x plus x plus 1. We can write the equation as x plus x plus 1 equals 79. Combine like terms to get 2x plus 1 equals 79. Subtract 1 from both sides of the equation and combine like terms to get 2x equals 78. Remember, we are trying to get the variable x by itself. Dividing both sides of the equation by 2 gives x equals 39. To check the answer, replace all x's in the equation with 39. If you try this on your own, you will get 39 plus 40 equals 79, indicating that the answer is correct. This word problem involves ages. The sentence reads, James is three years older than Max, and the sum of their ages is 67. What are the ages of James and Max? Represent Max's age as x and James's age as x plus 3, since the sentence indicates James is 3 years older than Max. We can write the equation as x plus x plus 3 equals 67, since both their ages, when added together, equal 67. To find both their ages, we solve for x. Combining the like terms and subtracting 3 from both sides gives 2x equals 64. Dividing both sides of the equation by 2 gives x equals 32. Substituting 32 back into the equation, we see that max is 32 and James is 35. Check this by adding both ages to get 67.